Welcome back to a Fifa Jack Gaming, where today we're jumping into the world of Magic the Gathering, specifically the format of EDH slash Commander. If you're liking the content that we're putting out, like, subscribe, or hit that little bell icon to get a notification about any of our future content. I curl brought out a bunch of different commanders. Today we're featuring the commander from Arcane Milstrom. Calmix the Storm Sire is an elemental dinosaur who is a 4-4. It's a teamer commander which costs a red, a blue, a green, and one. Whenever we cast a first instant spell of each turn, that's right, each turn, Calmix the Storm Sire, if it's tapped, we get to copy that instant. Whenever you copy in an instant, put a plus one, plus one counter onto Calamax. So, the idea with this deck is A, making sure we tap Calamax so we can be able to copy it. Copy many different spells and make one big giant dinosaur. A couple of different ways so we can end up doing it is going infinite of, to winning the game. So with that, we're going to go jump over into what we end up doing to tap down Count Max. We have eight different effects altogether. Paradise Mantle costs zero and one to equip. Equip creature has tap. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Spring Leaf Drum costs one. We have to tap that. Tap an untapped creature that we control and add one mana of any color. Then we have Honor War Shaku, costs three, tap it, add one mana, colorless mana specifically, tap an untapped legendary permanent, untap Honor War Shaku. Then we're going to end up having our big old dinosaur drive its way with Smuggler's Copter, which costs two to play. It has flying, and whenever Smuggler's Copter attacks or blocks, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. It has crew run. So that means that we can end up tapping a creature that has one a power toughness of one or more. This VL or becomes actually a creature. So with that, we also have Sky Sovereign's Consult Flagship. Cost is five to put down. It's a legendary artifact. And it has fly in. And whenever a Sovereign console enters the battlefield or attacks it deals three damage to a target creature or planeswalker the opponent's control has a crew of three which the we're going to jump over to an enchantment which is cripple right costs one green and one and creatures you control have tap add one mana color or one mana of any color to your mana pool and then we even go into the point of lands so Holdout Settlement and Survivor's Encampment does the same thing. They add for our mana, and you can tap it and tap an untapped creature, add one mana of any color. Next is where we're going to go into is copy effects. We got nine altogether of the copy effects. All right, now we're coming over to the copy effects that we have. We have nine of them all together. Starting off the thing is... Swarm Intelligence costs six in the blue. It's an enchantment so that allows us to do what our commander does. Malik is a paragon, costs four, a blue, and a red. We play with the top card revealed. You may cast an instance and sorceries from the top card of your library. And whenever we do, we get to copy the instance and sorceries. And then we're going to flash into action the dual caster mage which costs two red and a one, who has flash, and um, we're able to copy a target instant or sorcery spell. We may choose new targets. Twin in staff costs three mana, an artifact that's in this uh, pre-con that would let us copy a spell. Whenever we copy one or more spells, add one intentionally with it. Tap seven, tap that, and we get to copy another spell. Now our set, Reversal, is a two blue copy and an instant or sorcery. Increasing Vengeance costs two, but also has a flashback cost of three and two red. And if we get, cast it for the flashback cost, we get to cast it twice. 
reverberate is a red red which lets us do the caffeine as well while ricochet lets us deflect and choose new spots to that took cost to go over to it deflect and swat costs a red and two and if we control our commander it costs us nothing it lets us choose new targets for a spell or ability now we're coming up to expansion and explosion Expansion is with the part that lets us copy or spell that as long as it costs us four or less. So it also costs us a hybrid mana, so we can pay one of either color, of either a red or a blue, or we can pay red, red, or blue, blue to be able to cast that. Explosion has a cost of X, a blue, a blue, a red, and a red. Explosion does X amount of damage to any target, target, player draws X amount of cards. Since we got Explosion was the last X and everything, we're gonna jump into another X amount of spells. We have five of them all together. I mean, six obviously if we count Expansion, but we have Pull From Tomorrow, which costs us two blue and an X, draw X amount of cards, and then discard a card. Strength of the Tajuru, Causes X and two green, has a multi kicker of one, which we could end up paying an additional one for however many times we end up. Choose a target creature, and then choose another target creature for each time this spell was kicked. Put X amount of one one counters on them. Starstorm. It causes X and two red. Starstorm does X amount of damage to each creature, and it also has cycling. Pay three, discard this card, and draw a card. Comment Storm. It costs X and two red. Has a multi kicker of one. Choose any target, and then choose another target for each time this spell was kicked. Comment Storm deals X amount of damage to each of them. And then Electro Dominance. It costs X, red, and a red. Electrodominus does X amount of damage to any target. You may cast a card with a converted mana cost of X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. And then we're going to end up jumping into the place where it would be ramp slash cost reduction for our spells. So a little bit of cost reduction that we have is Electro or Goblin Electro Matcher. It costs a blue and a red that allows our instants and sorceries cost one less. And an enchantment that's called Jason Centaurum. Costs us three and a blue. Instants and sorceries cost one less to cast. And whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, scry one, allowing us to look at the top of a card of our library. And if we like it, we can keep it on top or put it on the bottom. And then we're going to be jumping over into the little ramp area where we're going to play Grow Spiral. And because it's a blue and a green, and we get to draw a card, and you may play a land from your hand onto the battlefield. Nature's Connection costs two and a green. Search your library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tap, and then shuffle your library. Haro. Who causes a green and two. It's an additional cost to cast this card, Sacrifice the Land. Search your land for up to two basics and put them onto the battlefield. And then shuffle your library. Big thing about this, they don't come in the tapped. Evolution Charm causes a green and one. And you get to choose one. You get to search your library for a basic land, reveal it, and put it into your hand. And then shuffle your library, or return a target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Target creature, or a target creature gains flying until end of turn. What's more better than a flying dinosaur? Arcane Signet, which costs us two, allows us to tap for one panel of any of our uh, commander's color identity. 
uh, sim or Simic Signet. It costs us two, it costs us one. Tap it, add a blue or a green. Is it Signet? It costs us two as well. Pay one and tap it. Put a blue and a red into our pool. Gruel Signet. It costs us two, tap, or tap one and tap it. To put a blue and a red and green. Soul Ring, costs us one, and lets us produce two colors mana. And then we got Primal Amulet. Costs us four. Instants and sorceries cost one less. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter onto Primal Amulet. If you have four or more counters onto it, you may remove the counters and transform it. So, the thing is, is this guy flips over into Primal Wellspring. It's a land. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Whenever mana is spent to cast an instant or sorcery spell with this, copy that spell and you may choose new targets. So with that, we're going to jump over into the lands itself. We're going to end up having five islands, five mountains, and eight forests. That's covering the basics. Then we got Marin Landscape, which comes in the battlefield. Tap, add one colorless. Or you can tap, add one colorless. Pay two, tap, sacrifice, and look for two basic lands that share a type and put them onto the battlefield. Tap. Then we have to shuffle. Frontier Badgerwack is a land that comes into play tapped. Add a green, blue, or green, blue, or red. Blue Turf. Comes into play tapped. When it comes into play, you have to return a land to your own, to your hand, but it taps for a green and a red. Simith Growth Chamber comes into battlefield tapped, and whenever it comes into play, you have to return a land to your hand. It taps for a green and a blue. As does Bill, or is it Boyle Orgs? It has, we have to end up coming in, it comes into play tapped. And we have to return a land, put it attached for a blue and a red. And then we have a couple tap lands that come into play that lets us gain life. Rugged Highlands, which has for a green or a red. Swift Water Cliffs, which has for a blue or a red. Thurnwood Falls, which taps for a green or a blue. Desolated Lighthouse, taps for a colorless, or you could pay a colorless, a blue, a red, and tap it to draw a card and discard a card. Command Tower. It lets us tap for any color within our commander. Cinder Glade. Enters the battlefield tap unless we control two or more basic lands. Taps for a green or a red. It's also a subtype of a mountain in a forest. Exotic Orchard, which lets us tap for any mana that any of our opponents can tap for to produce. Cassic Wolfhorn, taps for a colorless, or you can pay X, a green, and a red. Target creature gets plus X plus O and gains trample until the turn. Making commander damage a big thing. Moss Fire Valley, tap one. Add up green and a red. Moss Wart Bridge. It's a hideaway. This land enters the battlefield tapped. When it does, look at the top four cards of your library. XL one of them face down and put the rest at the bottom. So it taps for a green. And then it also has tap a green and tap it to play the XL card without paying its mana cost. If it's a creature you control... If your creatures you control have a power toughness of 10 or greater. Scavenger's Grounds. Add a colorless mana. Pay two. Sacrifice a desert. Exile all cards from graveyards. You have a mana coast. It has it where we're tapping for one colorless. Or we can tap for a green and a blue and it just costs us one damage. Artifact, we have Lightning Dreams. Something that we may end up cutting down the road 
but I don't know. I need to find a place for twin cast, and this may be the thing, but the thing is that it gives it haste, but it costs us two. Equipped creature has haste and shroud, and it has zero to equip. So the big thing about shroud is that you can't even target your own creature, where as compared to hexproof, you'll be able to target your own creature. Next thing is we're going to be jumping over into is the enchantments. While a wilderness reclamation is a three mana plus of green, so four all together, at the beginning of your end step, untap all your land you control. Crew fix the God of Horizons costs three, a green, a blue. And it's an indestructible. As long as your devotion to green and blue is less than seven, Crucifix is a creature. You have no maximum hand size. If unused mana would empty from your mana pool, that mana becomes colorless instead. So that lets us keep over the mana to be able to set up for a big old spell. A couple planeswalkers. Shalili, the Sublime Artifactor is a what costs one and two high bred mana of a blue or a red. Whenever we cast a non creature spell, create a one one servo artifact creature. And then we comes in with five loyalty. We can neg two. Target artifact you control becomes a copy of another target artifact or creature you control until end of turn. Except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Now the planeswalker that this guy is broken with is Rao Storm Conduit. Costs two, a blue, and a red. It has the static ability of whenever you cast or copy an instant spell or sorcery. Ral Zarek does, or Ral Storm Conduit deals one damage to a target opponent or Planeswalker. If we're going infinite, this could infinitely kill anyone that you have. It has a plus one of Scry One, which lets you take the top card, and if you like it, keep it on top, or you can put it at the bottom. It has a neg two of when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets. And it has a loyalty when it comes in up four. Next is we're gonna be jumping over to the creatures, which we have a whopping 12 of. Wart, the Raid Mother, costs a four, and a hybrid of a green slash red. Two of those guys all together, so it could be green, green, red, red, or green, red. When Wart Mother enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one green-red goblin creatures. Each green-red or each red or green instant or sorcery spells you have has conspire. As you cast that spell, you may tap two untapped creatures you control that share the color with it. When you do, copy it and you may choose new targets. Talran, the Sky Summoner has costs two and a blue blue whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell create a two two blue drake creature token with a flying mummering mystic costs three and a blue and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell create a one one blue bird illusion creature token with flying Young Pile Matcher costs one and a red, and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, put a one one red elemental creature onto the battlefield. So, with us copying a bunch of spells and playing a bunch of spells, there's going to be a lot of triggers going on, so we're going to have a big army that's going on with it. So, stuff that gets a little bit more value off it is Gutter Snipe costs a red and two, and whenever you cast an instant or or sorcery spell, Gutter Snipe deals two damage to each opponent. Niblis of Frost costs two and two blue. Fly and Prowless, so whenever we cast a spell, it gets a plus one, plus one until end of turn. 
and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature does not untap during the next untap phase. Lunary Mystic it costs two and two blue. Whenever you cast an instant spell, you may pay one. If you do, draw a card. Quade Moose costs two and a green. Whenever your player casts a spell, if it's not their turn, that player draws a card. Since we're going to be doing stuff not on our turn, we're going to be drawing a lot of cards. Rashmi, Etern Eternity's Crafter. It costs two, a green, and a blue. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a non line card with a commercial cost of less than the spells that you've cast, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. If you don't cast that spell revealed, put it to your hand. And then Charm Breaker Devils costs cost a red and five. At the beginning of your upkeep, return an instant or sorcery card randomly from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever you cast an instant or a sorcery card, Charm Breaker Devils get a plus four plus O oh until end of turn. Bring stuff back, and as we cast spells, it gets bigger. For at least until end of turn. And then we're going to come up to the back end of this, where we end up having 14 different cards. For instance, take through time. Cost us six, a blue, a blue. And it has delve, where we can exile from our graveyard amount of cost to cost one less for it. So it can end up costing two if we exile six cards. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. Op, scry one. So that means we get to look at the top and then draw a card. Costs one blue. Frantic search. Costs a blue and two. Draw two cards and then discard two cards. And then untap three different lands. Chemicers Insight costs three and a blue. Draw two cards. And then it has this thing called Jumpstart. You may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in, your, in addition to paying the other cost. And then exile this card. Channeled Force costs two blue and a red. As an additional cost to the, this spell, discard X amount of cards. Target player draws X amount of cards. Channel Force deals X amount of damage to up to one target creature or planeswalker. Chaos Ward, two and a red. The owner of a target permit shuffles it into their library and then reveals the top card of the library. If it's a permit, they put it onto the battlefield. Artifact. Mutation, a red and a blue, green. Destroy a target artifact. It can't be regenerated. It creates one, one green spawning creatures where X is the cost of the artifacts. Yeah, cost. Tribute to the wild. Costs one in the green. It's an instant. Each opponent sacrifices an artifact or an enchantment. Slice and twain. Costs two and two green. Destroy a target art artifact or enchantment. Draw a card. Whiplash trap. Costs three and two blue. If an opponent had two or more creatures enter the battlefield under their control, you may pay one rather than paying the cost. Return two creatures to their owner's hands. Carry a shirt, costs us three and one blue. One green. Choose a op target opponent. You create X amount of three three beast tokens, whereas X is the amount of artifacts that player controls. Very nice to be able to be copying. 
crop rotation cost is green sacrifice a land to be able to play that spell search your library for a land card any land card and put it onto the battlefield and then shuffle your library to mirror charm cost is a blue a green and a red choose one Target creature gets a plus one, plus one until end of turn. It fights a target creature you don't control. Counter a target spell unless it's controller pays three. Or creatures with a power of three or less can't block this turn. In the final card is Mystic Confluence. Cost is three and two blue. Choose three. You may... Choose the same one more than or same one more than once. Counter a target spell unless its controller pays three. Return a target creature to its owner's hand or draw a card. 